Uh, real quick, post um, after start getting ready to start turn two. Actually, got a couple of moves in on turn two. Started playing my son. Actually, that was pretty fun to have someone else uh, deciding those roles. Still need to get some get Chris over here to play, but um, I've been wrapping it up because I need to get this put away for uh, to sand the table and finish it uh, for the next couple of days. But um, it was fun playing in here. Great uh, table. Uh, I, I honestly, so I was using Iron Cross Command, uh, one of these per unit plus some extra for the command. It was pretty cool. Um, I spent way too much on the Germans to fire, and then the U.S. did the same thing to uh, the Germans. Uh, had taken out a couple units, taken out a couple U.S. units. Um, I took this guy out here. Uh, I don't know. I can't decide if I like it that way. I, I asked my son real quick. I said. I need to play him with the regular Blitzkrieg Commander activation to see what he thinks of that. Um, so I don't know. It's cool. Um, you kind of know where your people, where your opponent stands, but you doesn't. It doesn't guarantee you get to do it because you have to roll on it. Um, huh? I think maybe uh, maybe try a smaller game with fewer pieces. I need to try out some artillery. There's just some little things need to work out. So I think I kind of like it. It's kind of cool having those points and then you could kind of fluctuate those. There's some things you got to work on like do does, does it matter where your that's not my command unit. Does it matter where your command unit is? So in Blitzkrieg Commander if you're more than a certain distance away say 20 centimeters every 20 Every 20 beyond that 20, it's a minus one to the command roll. Well, I kind of like keeping the command option open, but um, so like I'd still say if you're within 20, it costs you just one of these to, to command. But do you say it costs two to command, or do you just say it, it's an, another, it's a minus one to the roll? So like, I don't know, so for example, let's say he's up here and he's over 20 centimeters away and you want to command this guy and he's never been commanded before. Do you um, do you now have to so be, normally in using the uh, Iron Cross rules you wouldn't have to pay anything you'd just you'd put the token on them and do your move do your whatever you want to do but maybe with this you'd say um, okay normally you don't have to roll anything but you have to you just can't roll a one you know so you have to roll a two through six maybe you say that and if it's you know if he's forty away or forty one away. Then it's you have to roll uh, a three or more, perhaps. Uh, and then once you add this on, then you just start adding on. So it not so if he had one of these on, it's it would be one for that, and then another one for being so far away. So that's something you could do. Um, I was allowing movement of command. So like I would put something on here and move him up with him instead of Blitzkrieg Commander. These guys will, will stay back. Throughout the turn, all their movements, units move up and do their thing and fire and do all that. And then at the end of the move, at the end of the turn, you move all your command up to where you want them. And they move 40. So I have to kind of think through that a little bit. Uh, in Iron Cross, once you give someone a command, they can do two actions on their turn. They can't do the same action. Although I do have to look at that about moving. I think they can move a double move or a faster move. Which is, if that's the case, then then you could say they could do a double move. But they can like move and disembark, move and fire, or fire and move, or disembark and move, or disembark and fire. And whatever combination, but you, it says you can't do two of the same thing. Um, where are the rules for Iron Cross? The cool thing about Iron Cross rules is they're small. Uh, so let's look it up right now. Uh, the question is... You get to watch me flip through a book. Pretty exciting, my little notes. Yeah, and there's something else about the reacting I have to look at here. So... For command token, maybe used to do one of the following activate or reactivate a unit, take a company morale test, or fall back. And when you activate a unit, 
you may move and or shoot or shoot then move when activated. The only player to clear blah blah blah. Oh man, where'd I see that? Oh, multiple actions. You can use a token to perform up to two different actions. Moving at normal speed is a single. Moving at rapid speed counts as two moves. Okay, so you can move twice. Embarking or disembarking from a vehicle counts as a single. Shooting counts as a single. You can therefore combine these single actions. So you can move and shoot, embark onto a vehicle, and then a vehicle can make a normal move or disembark then shoot. Or technically you can move twice. So shooting twice is not allowed. Normal move a transport vehicle, troops disembark, then attempt to shoot. That's three. Rapid move vehicle, then attempt. Yeah, I get that part. Okay. Yep. Meh. Interesting. So, like normally moving a truck that maybe has two units of infantry, you could only move the truck and disembark one of the infantry, not both, because that would be three actions. Makes sense. Okay, a fallback move. So the fallback was kind of cool. Um, I was able to do that one time when my son was shooting um, the mortar at me with a tank that already had, he only needed two more hits and he was down. So I was able to react and it was, a cool thing about it is it wasted his command. So he um, was unable to, um, kind of wasted a command token then because there was no target because I was able to move it. I tried a couple times and I failed, and then that, that other time I was successful. So that was kind of cool. There's some cool things about it. I think there was a little iffiness on my part about how it was working. Um, also, I noticed here it said a tank to react to a tank to react to infantry is uh, look at that. It gets. If reacting by firing at a unit that had declared any movement, the target benefits from the usual minus one modifier to the fire score to hit for the target moving. That's different. We don't do that in that game. Where is it? I could have swore this is something about infantry. This is an important note. A vehicle gets a minus one penalty to the D6 roll. A base score of four is required to react to an action declared by an enemy infantry or support squad unless the target is mounted or in a transport with a further minus one penalty if the infantry is on foot and starts its action in cover. So that's kind of interesting. I find it interesting. It's, a, it's an important note. Why is that a note? That's a rule. That's one of the things these rules are a little bit wonky donkey. The, you know, I kind of like that. I'm trying, I don't know if that's necessary. So I, I little not sure how much of the rules to translate over to to use, you know, for command and all that. And like, uh, so I don't know. I don't know if I want to. It's just funny. I'm like, I don't know if I want to hassle with, you know, messing with those rules. Start for the shaking. But anyway, I can't. I can't decide. It was fine. How's that? It was fine doing it that way. Um, I may try again, and you know, just kind of tighten those rules down a little bit. And see if I like it or just stick with the... My next game I'll probably play... Maybe I'll do a much smaller scenario with just like... Six infantry, three tanks. And uh, so I'll have a total of nine. Maybe some artillery. And I think he'd like to see a plane. So maybe put a plane in there. So be a little less. No transport. Alright. I think that's it. We'll see ya. Next, next time, hopefully, you see the table. It'll probably be sanded. So I sanded the top parts today, the top planks. Um, and then I get to sand this, take it outside, and, and sand it tomorrow. So that's cool. All right, you all have a great uh, Saturday night, or have a Sunday morning if that's what you're doing right now. Whatever day it is, see you all. Or maybe if it's already Monday for you. Ooh, you're already working. See ya.